Hello. Hello, hello, hello. I do apologise. We're just, yeah, we're happy walking. So, I have not long come back from my little, little weekend away. And it was absolutely amazing. It was very, very wet. Uh, hopefully, I'll get some footage thrown in. But, yeah, it was the one thing that I didn't expect. It was going to be as wet as what it was. When I say it was as wet as what it was, what I mean is so... We stayed at this little Airbnb and it was on a hillside and it was overlooking a reservoir. The only problem was you couldn't really tell where the reservoir started and sort of where, well, the rest of the land was because it was just all water, basically. It was quite funny because when we got down to the place, there's a few things that we forgot. We were like, ah, we need to go and get them from somewhere. And we asked the co-host, we were like, is there a shop nearby? Because where we were staying was basically, it was an old train, like an old Victorian train station. And we were in like an outbuilding of the train station. So around us, there was two other houses and it was on this tiny little country lane. So there was really nothing around us at all. So we asked the co-host, we were like, is there a shop or a garage, anything nearby? And he gave us like a description of directions. <laughs> it was quite funny. It's like you go out of the kind of driveway, turn right, and then follow this road. And I did that. And I just rounded this corner, slammed the brakes on, and I turned to, turned to my friend. I was like, I hope you don't mind, but I'm not going to drive through that. And it was literally the road was a river. You couldn't see where the road went. You only saw like the tops of the hedges. So you kind of had an idea where it went. But road signs were halfway underwater and everything. And I was like, I'm really sorry, but no. I've seen plenty of videos on YouTube of car going through waters and it doesn't end well. So I was like, you know what? No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> and then my sat nav was like, oh, do a U-turn, turn left. So we did a U-turn. I looked down the road. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going down the air either. So where we stayed was, yeah, flooded if you turned one direction. It was fine-ish if you turn the other way. I say fine-ish. The roads were passable, but literally the countryside was soaked. It was so, so wet. But I will say, honestly, such a, a nice, relaxed, chilled weekend. No worries, no stress, no pressure, no feeling that I had to be a certain way or work, walk a certain line or anything like that. Just me and like my ex, and I know that was a risk in itself. Don't get me wrong. Like I was so apprehensive, I suppose is the best way to put it. Because when you, when you go somewhere with somebody that you've had feelings and emotions with, it can get very, yeah, dangerous in 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 a, in a mental state kind of way i guess it can get very very dangerous and i i think it was hard for us because i do feel that there's probably still something there for us both but you know for one reason or another it didn't work could it work I don't want to sit here and say yes because then it, it feels like I'm living in a false hope but I enjoy her company I enjoy who she is as a person so a weekend away like what we had was just nice you know it was really really nice we were able to sit and we spoke about so much stuff I'm going through my therapy she's going through her therapy we all have our different struggles and battles and you know where our life is at the minute and we were just able to sit and talk and it was so relaxing for me to feel that there was no pressure of anything. There was no, like, like I say, I had to be a certain way or do a certain thing or please certain people. She allows me to kind of just, or kind of find out who I am in a way. I mean, yeah, there was, there's been negativity between us in the past, but that's life, right? But it was really, it was really chilled, you know? It was really chilled. It was a case of we were able to walk on Saturday, like, we we got there. It was so messed up. We were supposed to get there like three o'clock on Friday. We ended up getting there at six p.m. So things are just it. It was what it was though. But you you make the most of the experience because you're with somebody that you get on with, 
and you want to be with in a way. So that was really nice. But like I say, Saturday, Saturday morning, I get up, I make fresh bread, though it was kind of a poor man's recipe, if you like. So it is Irish soda bread. So it's really, really easy to make and it takes like 20 minutes rather than using a recipe that involves yeast that you've got to let prove and blah, 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 you know, it takes ages. Irish soda bread is 20 minutes, boom, done. So I did that for them. So when she got up in the morning, she got fresh bread and oh, that was so nice. And then she cooked dinner that night and we made pizza together, pizza dough, fresh made. Like again, cheap man's pizza dough, a two ingredient pizza dough. But it's just quick, it's just easy, it's really nice. And we just chilled outside because it was actually a nice day on Saturday. We were able to sit on this deck and stuff and just talk and drink and just enjoy each other's company. And it kind of made me think in myself, is this like a window into who I could be or to who I might be or, you know what I mean? So like, it, it, I felt... I felt like I was the age that I should be doing something that I feel I should be doing without any external pressures or, or anything like that. It felt really, really nice. But of course then, because I'm an overthinker, I am also thinking, right, well, is this a window into who I could be or, or how things could be? Or is it just because it is one weekend of just having a break and it's easy to maintain that kind of thing for a weekend when the reality, everything else just comes rushing back and gets on top of you. I don't know. I don't want to overthink it. There's so much that I don't want to overthink at the weekend because I don't want to spoil what was genuinely a really nice time. Like a really nice time. So that is where we are now. It is currently, what is it now? It's Easter Monday. So I'm just going for a few bits at home before work tomorrow, but my spirits are in a good place, even though I know if I think too much on certain things and whatever else, I'll, I'll put myself in a bad way. I don't want to do that because I genuinely enjoyed the time and I enjoyed, I enjoyed the moment. And a lot of people go on about living in the moment and that's what I wanted to do this weekend. But I'm also aware that living in the moment, you have to be understanding of, you know, people, futures, emotions, everything else. Living in the moment is all well and good, but you can easily just kind of forget to feel and forget to just enjoy. But honestly, I really needed the time and I got it. I was able to breathe, I was able to relax, I was able to enjoy. Yeah, it was nice. And then, don't get me wrong, coming back home was a bit like, oh yay. Here we go again. And, you know, you kind of get back into things and... It's just kind of confirmed for me and cemented for me that I, for my own sanity at least, I need to get out. I really need to get out. I don't know how. That's, that's the problem. Well, I don't know how, obviously, but because I'm stuck in this cycle of how I've been brought up around renting and money and stuff like that, it, it's, yeah, it's a tough battle. Yeah, I enjoyed the weekend. I needed the weekend. It was nice to kind of hit pause in a way or refresh or whatever you want to call it and just have a really nice time with somebody whose company I genuinely enjoy. So hopefully, I don't, I don't know how things are between us. I don't know how we can both feel and cope with the situation or the emotions there. Like when we have those good weekends, we talk about it'd be nice to have like more like that. But obviously you're also aware that it, it, it seems like speaking to her that there is still emotions there. And it's a tough one because if you, if one of you says that it's not working, the other one has to respect that. Like I genuinely feel that you, you can't push somebody to stay in a relationship if they don't want to be in a relationship. So it's trying to 
do the right thing for everybody's emotions because if you if you keep seeing somebody and it's hurting yourself if you're the one that's you know feels that that there's potential there you're only going to hurt yourself if they only see it as a friend zone situation they might have some emotions towards you it's been four years so there might be some emotions there but it depends like how those level of emotions sit they might be able to feel something in terms of you know like a really close friend whereas you might feel something that's quite quite you know a bit deeper than that uh, in the end of the day one of you is going to get hurt if not both of you if you're not careful so it's just it's just a different sort of management that i guess i try not to look at during the weekend um but now we're back and everything's sort of back to reality it's really hard to ignore but the weekend was really genuinely it was so peaceful it was so nice and that's why i needed to go i needed to go because it was tranquil because it was like breathing it, it felt like i could breathe without pressure it felt like a weight had been lifted just is what it is it was just a really chill weekend like i like those kind of things you know those little airbnbs it's just it's not a house it's just a tiny little it's a room with everything you need it's got a beds to sleep in a place to cook and a shower or whatever else like nothing nothing crazy nothing like posh or elaborate or whatever else it's just very like the basics done nicely but it was out in the middle of nowhere and that is the most beautiful thing because it's like you wake up and you go let's walk and because we both like to walk we both like to go outside and be in amongst nature it's exactly what works for us so yeah really bloody pleasant really nice actually just a shame that it ended but you know all good things must come to an end right that's what I keep getting told. Part of me doesn't want to believe it. Obviously, you do grow up like that. And that's the reality of it. Because ultimately, if the good things continue forever, how do you know that's a good thing anymore? But I think you can prolong your enjoyment. Is prolong the right word? You know what I mean? Like You can extend your enjoyment if you find joy in simple, basic things. We'll see. We'll see. We'll have a therapy on Wednesday. That'll be interesting, no doubt. Talk about the whole weekend and everything else. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But I just thought I'd check in with you guys and hopefully everybody's doing okay. You're all managing however managing looks to you. You know, I, I don't want to sit here and say, I hope everybody's great, I hope everybody's good. Because I know what it's like when you're battling stuff. Some days you just want to manage. Managing is sometimes the best that you can achieve, and sometimes it's that's all you need to to get you through one day to the next. So, yeah, I hope everybody's good. It, it kind of yeah, my weekend was was nice, and it kind of injected a different feeling into me. In that, you know, like I said the last day, I didn't want it all to be doom and gloom, and yeah, it really wasn't. This one, it was quite nice. Um, hopefully, you can get more times like that. It's just creating them yourself you know, as the individual, rather than needing to find them or source them out, rather than to go further afield or to go on to holidays and stuff. It's, it's finding those little things that bring the joy in the day-to-day. -day. So hopefully we can do that at some point. But yes, thank you very much, guys, as always. I uh, hope to see you again sometime soon. Take it easy. Bye now. Bye, everybody.